Marching on the president's villa in the Nigerian capital Abuja, activists from the Bring Back Our Girls movement gathered to demand action 1,000 days after Boko Haram fighters abducted 276 schoolgirls in the northeastern town of Chibok. Some of them have since been released while others managed to escape, but nearly 200 girls still remain in captivity. The Bring Back Our Girls movement has been demanding for our government to take the necessary action to rescue them. So far, 24 of our girls are back. We still have 195 of our girls held up as captives of terrorists. That is totally not acceptable. When Boko Haram kidnapped the girls from a government school in Chibok in Borno State in April 2014, it caused a public outcry. It also drew international attention to the jihadist group. President Ahmadou Buhari has faced intense criticism for failing to secure the release of all the girls. 81 are now free and in government care, including 21 whose release was negotiated in October last year. Some of those rescued or released gave birth while in captivity. On Sunday, President Buhari said he was hopeful the remaining schoolgirls will be rescued, but relatives of the girls say they have little faith in him. The president said the war on terror will not stay to have been won without the rescue of the Chibok girls. Now they have gone ahead and announced that they have won the war, remain winning the peace. Have we won the war? If we won the war, then we are the girls. Last August, Boko Haram issued a video showing dozens of young girls wearing Islamic robes, claiming they were from the group kidnapped in Chibok. It also claimed military airstrikes had killed some of the girls, something denied by the government. Whatever the case, Boko Haram still poses a threat to the region. While these campaigners say their cause is being forgotten by those in power. Nadim Barber, Al Jazeera.